Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. I guarantee, ladies and gentlemen across the great state, that we are the only station, the only station with a variety program that has programming like you're about to experience. So welcome to Quarantine Tonight on this Monday night. Can you believe it's October 25th, 2021. Uh, the last time the band you will see tonight was on this program was back in April of 2020. It was mask wearing everywhere. It was the 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 beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. And uh, in just a moment, you'll find out who we have tonight. Want to welcome everybody here. We've got a great week of programming tonight. It's Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Uh, this is a, a band that I've been talking about for some time, letting everybody know it's I'm issuing a beverage alert, so uh, dim the lights, go to the fridge, get what you like, get in your lazy boy, and you're about to experience something that uh, you won't find on any other channel. Tomorrow night, we've got a crooner coming from Omaha, a little Frank Sinatra, uh, the whole bit. He'll be here. We're going to roll out the the baby, the big grand piano uh, that uh, Midwest Music uh, Center has provided. And then this Wednesday... We got some boys coming from Atkinson or Ainsworth. I'm not for sure. I think it's Ainsworth, Nebraska, uh, called the Classic Country Band. And uh, it's all that and then some. You're going to enjoy the show. And uh, if you are from north central Nebraska, you're in for a good one. All right, let's get to it. Uh, let's start tonight with our evening prayer. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Reverend Eva Mudambanuki at the First United Methodist Church praying with you at this time. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in times of need. You are in need. You are praying for something and I join you in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have taught us to come boldly before your throne of grace so that in these needs that we have, we can find mercy and also you are going to grace us with your presence, with your healing, with your touch upon our lives. This is your world. We are your people and we have just come to you. Hear our prayers, O oh God, especially those who are very sick today. We are stretching our hearts in prayer to them that in times of need, healing will flow from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Thank you for this sweet hour of prayer. Thank you for healing. Thank you for testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So much for that wonderful prayer and uh, welcome to News Channel Nebraska. Tonight it's Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. And uh, we've got a, a longtime friend of mine. In fact, we are in each other's weddings. We've worked <laughs> together. Uh, we met in South Bend, Indiana. And uh, last time he was on this program, uh, it was April of 2020. Long time ago. Man. These two guys from Columbus, he's from Battle Creek. So two-thirds Columbus, one-third Battle Creek. Now, we got, we got to be honest. So Corey is born, raised, bred here in the great <laughs> town of Norfolk, Nebraska. I was, so he's, I was. he's a transplant to Columbus right now. I was. Okay. Uh, marriage took him south. Well, it happens. That yes, happens. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and then Chris over there. Last time, uh, let's see, you were having, a, uh, not you, your wife, Corey, was having a baby mm -hmm. 18 was, months yes. ago, right? Uh, or? 17 on the 19th of this month. Okay. Wow. And everybody's healthy? Everybody's healthy and uh, ornery as ever. Uh, baby during the middle of coronavirus. That was kind of weird. And Chris had a back surgery in the middle yeah, of coronavirus. Yeah, you had a back surgery. So, yeah. That's true. And now Dave's got two kids playing football, uh, one right. freshman, one senior, one quarterback, and one just uh, animal on the line. Yep, and a little, uh, little football action has been a lot of fun this fall for Battle Creek and uh, playoff time and all that good stuff coming now, up. Now, were they going to Shadron? Shadron, Nebraska, Battle Creek to Shadron. It's going to be a little bit of a road trip. A little Highway place. 20. You got that right. Little Highway 20 ride. Little, there's going to be a seven-county caravan heading oh, to County 69. Oh, you better believe it. Going to county be 69. Did you know that? Yes. Dawes County 69. Way out on the northwest corner, so yep. we're looking forward to it. All right, let's talk about Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Uh, this this band here is a uh, is a club favorite in Norfolk and Columbus. They're going to be in Lynch this Saturday night. Yep. Uh, Spring, Lake, Spring Lake Angus Center. Spring Lake Angus Center. And yep. uh 
up there in Boyd County, you know, oh, Sheriff Reedy. Little, there's there's kind of no rules up there. There's no Boyd rules County. up there in Boyd County. That's right, but it sure is fun. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, yes. It's going to be a Halloween party. And it's a It'll Halloween party. to remember party. that you'll it never is. remember. That's right, yes. What are you going dressed as? Probably uh, three middle-aged guys that uh, are pretending to be instrumentalists and singers. <laughs> hey, I just have a question. Are you going to be doing some Garth Brooks tonight? Oh, do you want to hear some Garth I've Brooks known tonight? This, I've known this guy for 25 years, and the last time you guys were on this program, he sang a Garth Brooks song, and I thought, he sounds just like Garth Brooks. That's a gift you have. Well, I didn't even know you had all these musical talents. I'm about as big as Garth, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's getting passed around, I'll tell you that. Well, yeah, uh, anyway. not not financially, by any means. <laughs> well, we're excited. This is going to be fun tonight. And uh, if you are uh, looking for a good time and you you maybe it's time you call your neighbor and say, hey, you better turn on quarantine tonight because Whiskey Tango Foxtrot is here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to News Channel Nebraska. <laughs> Sure. 
mother's child, no mother's love. Well, and how it's little things in life that mean the most. I'm where you live, or what you drive, or the price tag on your clothes. And no dollar sign on a peace of mind, this I've come to know. So if you agree, have a drink with me and raise your glasses for a toast to a little bit of chicken food. Go beer on a Friday night, pair of jeans that fit just right, and a radio up. I'd like to see the sunrise, see the love in a woman's eyes, feel the touch of a precious child, you know a mother's love. Chicken Go beer on a Friday night Their jeans fit just right And a radio up. I can see the song rise See the love in a woman's eyes Feel the touch of a precious child You know a mother's love Precious child, you know mother's love. sing one now? Yeah, right now. Okay, we're, we're doing this show tonight like we do any other live show. We have no idea what we're playing next, so um, <laughs> we're just, just go with the flow, right? Chris That's right. Robbins on the other end playing the bass down there. Yes, sir. How about some John Fogarty? Oh, because we're in the middle of the baseball playoffs, right? That's right. Yeah, my...
and a brand new pair of shoes. You know I think it's time we get this game a rise. Just I hit the ball and touch them all. A moment in the sun. Well, it's a gun and you can't tell that one goodbye. Come on and put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Come on and put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Look at me. I can be your Come on and put me in, coach. I'm ready to was rooting for the Red Sox, but they, they lost. My team lost. So you're so rooting for the Braves? The Braves, and it's the Astros, and I don't like the Astros, so I'm cheering for the Braves. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Easily said. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm just cheering for it to be over. It's baseball, so it's time to move on yeah, yeah. to the football, yes. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's see what else we got in store next. Oh, I like this. Day after day, I'm more confused. Boys, 
to free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. The last one to know, the last one to show I was the last one you thought you'd see there. I saw a surprise and a fear in his eyes when I stole his glass of champagne. I toasted you, said, honey, we may be through. You'll never hear me complain. Cause I got new friends in new places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. since you're on that first time I was like I didn't know <laughs> that was that you, something Michael. ladies and gentlemen yes live studio audience live studio audience tonight didn't that feel All good right. Uh, have you noticed our green light, great night program? I have, and holy smokes, have we turned up the dial here in Northeast Nebraska on live music? I have, uh, oh, I have man. the green light blinking right now. You can't miss it. It's, uh, it's, it's the most obnoxious green light you can buy in the market. <laughs> and I like the car too. The, the nice oh, US ninety two uh, green mobile. Yeah. So if you're watching from outside of Northeast Nebraska, essentially uh, we, uh, News Channel Nebraska and US 92 Radio, we put these green flashing lights that came from Detroit. They're actually <laughs> used in Detroit to let uh, people know that there's a police camera looking oh. at the parking lot. Uh, what is uh, for safety in Detroit is for fun in Norfolk. And, I uh, love it. If there's live music and the green light is on, uh, well, I should say, if the green light's on, it's going to be a great night. There's live That's music right. inside. So uh, tonight it's Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. This is their third appearance, but it's been over a year since they were last here. Uh, they have been all over. There are a couple spots, water and holes in Columbus that seem to be 
popular for lot this in band. Wisner too. We play a lot in Cumming oh, County. What is up? With we Cumming fact, we were County. just there last Saturday at Lance's Steakhouse. Oh, Lance's Steakhouse. Oh yeah, big good crowd. Times. Oh, great crowd. I love I love the prime prime oh, rib. Oh, good stuff there. And yeah. salad bar. Yep, that's the only place with a salad <laughs> bar in a five county area. Health it. department's <laughs> taking them all away from me. <laughs> they have. That's right. My, in Can't fact, get uh, myself Chris any Corey macaroni or salad anywhere. I know it. Jeez. Taking away all the fun stuff, but you guys yeah. like the salad bar? We did. Oh, they ate it yeah. really good. <laughs> yeah, we don't miss too many meals. Twenty years ago, we wouldn't have been excited about the salad bar. I David. know, but we are now. By but God. now, it's a That's highlight. Right. Hey, so you go to Cumming County. You go. You uh, this place up in Lynch. Oh yeah, Spring Lake Angus Center. Okay, tell me about this because uh, KBRX, our friends up there, oh, yeah. uh, they put this on the radio and people come from all around. Really, it's one of the biggest, craziest crowds we've ever played for the times we've been up there. Um, and this weekend, I think, will be no exception. They're having a Halloween party on Saturday night. Now, to get there, I don't know if you can Google it or not because it's like 15 miles from anywhere, it seems like, but kind of close to Lynch, uh, east of O'Neill. It's out in, out in the boondocks out there, but it is a fantastic, almost new facility facility that was built um and and it's just you should go out and eat there too oh and the food there's phenomenal as well is it a restaurant year round yeah they do on the nights they're open they usually do have uh food for a few hours before the entertainment starts and so it's you know those ranchers uh, they're on the ranch all week when it's time to party it's time to party oh you're darn right (laughs) yes yeah and as a matter of fact the first night we played there it was uh it was breeding season for cattle and the owners uh, were like, yeah, we, we bred 60 cows this morning, and we did this this afternoon, and then they come in and run a bar at night. So you yeah, can't beat they it. They like to work up there. They, they work do. 24-7. So it's the real deal. The owners are the ones working and making it happen. So fun times. But we played all over Clearwater Rodeo this year again. Uh, we played there the last couple of years. And you name it, we're playing all over uh, fairs, festivals, whatever it is, uh, private parties, class reunions. It's just been a good time. And folks may not remember us so last year because, remember, we changed the name for the occasion. Yes. What would you call yourself? We, we last year while we were on a TV show, we called ourselves the Corona Brothers. That's right. Yeah, that was kind of fun. We thought it was fun. Did you it know. stick? Yeah. We don't have T-shirts made for a band or anything, so the Corona Brothers was fine. We could change it for a moment's notice and change it back to Whiskey Tango <laughs> Foxtrot. No problem. But here we are tonight. Here we yeah, are. Right. <laughs> You're right, half so, later. Uh, coming up next, we've got more with Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. We want to check Mike's mailbag. We get a few letters every once in a while, David, and I'll tell you what. Last time you were on, we got a lot of letters about the Corona Brothers. Also Hopefully not complaints. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Uh, let's open the mailbag and find out who's waiting for us today. Um, you can always send those letters in. We love them. They keep us going. In fact, they give us uh, a little needed feedback when it comes time uh, to figure out what band we should have on next. Let's find out who we have here tonight. Yeah, we don't do email on this show. We only do snail mail. Um, Yeah, this is one from Jay and Julie in Lincoln. Very short and to the point. We enjoy watching Quarantine Tonight. Well, thanks, Jay and Julie. We appreciate that in the capital city. From Loop City, here's Norman. Keep up the good work. I love it all. Father Joe and everything else. Thank you. Well, thank you, Norman. In Loop City, it's nice to hear from you. Uh, the the Sookups from Omaha, we really like the polkas. We also watch Mass with Father Joe, and thank you. Well, thanks to all that. Had lunch with Father Joe a couple weeks ago. He is doing great, feeling great. Uh, the guy is 81, and he works like a 25-year-old. I he mean, even works on Sundays. He, wor- he was telling me in a period of like, you know this guy? I know Father Joe very well. So in a period of like, he said he had like something like 10 services that he did from like a Thursday to a Sunday. He was doing two weddings, a funeral, then Saturday mass, Sunday mass, Friday morning mass, Saturday morning mass. The guy goes, 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 he goes, does, goes. He does. Is that your? You, you, Wait, yep, my wife and I go to uh, uh, St. Isidore's. St. Isidore's there. And, uh, he hasn't course. talked to you into sing, singing at mass? No, no, not there. I, I actually uh, play with Chris every now and then at 1C Church there. Oh, do you? Yes, but uh, Father Joe, he's he's an amazing guy. He really is. He. Well, we were having lunch at the Dusters there in Columbus, and it was like I was with a superhuman celebrity. Oh, I tell you. Everybody I mean, knows everybody that guy. Everybody knows he doesn't have to pay for a meal the rest of his natural life. <laughs> I mean, everybody that walked by is like, Father, you, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's taken care of. It's taken care of. I'm good. So they take good care of him because they he do. takes good care of them in Columbus. I'll tell you what. We'll be back with Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Right after this update on news, and our chief meteorologist, Jeff Fox, has a look at our weekend weather coming up. (music) 
You've got and you found Quarantine Tonight right here on News Channel Nebraska. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot back in the studio. First time since April 2020. Give them a warm NCN welcome.
since the beginning of uh, quarantine tonight, you know? I mean, we, we got the smoke machines. We actually have people here. We do. You know, Mike doesn't have to hold the interview microphone out with a seven-foot pole anymore. <laughs> I was and thinking, you know, his kids were the ones running cameras. Yeah, his kids were running cameras. He, he you had all a, grew up. Yeah, you did. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, different people. But anyway, it's a great time, man. It's uh, so much fun. And uh, I got to say hello to our friend Walt, who came over from Petersburg. There you go. Oh, right on. Walt, uh, and, and I haven't seen Walt in years. And I got, uh, got my family here from Indiana. And I believe we got some other friends that just walked in here, too. Uh-huh. Hey. Oh, yeah. Maybe somebody we'll have to talk to here in just a bit. So, that's right. That's All right, right, let's play some more music. What are we going to play next? Ah,
really, we really went from like the 60s to the 2000s there, didn't we? Oh, I know. It's we great, crossed it? 40 years, yeah. So we always like to say uh, anything from Merle Haggard to ACDC and Rolling Stones. Yeah, you know, we don't get too we don't get too new because we're kind of old. We are. We're getting that way. Today. <laughs> Good times. Now, oh, the big question is, what's next? Oh, Dave, you know what's next. Nope. <laughs> which, is, which is why this group is fun. That's because right. Corey surprises us just about every I song. I do, I do. Sometimes with new songs that we don't even know. This might be one of those occasions. No, we know this one. I have to do a, a, a good song here that my, li my wife loves. Uh, Emily, she's home with my three babies. She lets me come out and do this stuff, and uh, I love her to death, and 
Hopefully the babies are in bed by now, though. It's yes, a little late. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm sure that they are. Good. If not, she's probably not real happy with you right now, <laughs> is what I would bet. So That's a good chance. All right. Well, surprise us here. Let's go. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Sounds like we're doing some journey. Gentlemen, Woo, the live glory. studio audience is going crazy tonight. My goodness. Wow, that is really something. Oh, I love you, babe. Pulling some jer journey out of the hat there. That is, yeah. We are very fortunate to have this level of musician on our show tonight. We've got three guys that produce a lot of sound. Uh, it's amazing to me. Somebody just said to me uh, on text, they were like, how do three guys 
make all those sounds. And I said, well, it's a left-handed drummer over here. It is. It's one <laughs> It's drum. a left-handed yeah. drummer, See, ladies and gentlemen. That's when drummers make a mistake. They bring like a 20-piece drum kit, you know? You just, just one drum. And, and actually, and our sound is proportionate to our stature as well. Being left-handed actually benefits you in such a small in, in, you know, yeah. setup here. In this case, I don't hit Corey near as often, <laughs> which is the best part of it. Because a lot of places we play are even a little tighter than it where is, we are right now. A lot so. tighter, actually. Yeah, we, we've right? spread out from each other a little we've bit. We've grown to know each other very well. This is kind of your coronavirus spread here. That's, that's right. we got a six foot between us in, accidentally, actually. <laughs> yeah. All right. So David's got two... Uh, Two football players, and uh, of course you've got, uh, is it a seventh grader? And two? a sixth grader. Sixth she's grader? a volleyball girl. Oh, yeah. a volleyball yeah. girl, yeah. Abby. Yep. Uh, she's got to be thinking, my God, my brothers are all over the football field. you got a senior quarterback, <laughs> then you got a freshman monster. What's he playing this he's year? Play, he's playing offensive and defensive tackle. So. He looks just, he's got the hair of your father-in-law. He you does. Know that? He's, got, he's got the full-on mullet. He's, he's got a mullet. You should see oh, this yeah. kid. He looks like he's oh, yeah. uh He's 21 years old. The, the kids mullets only... are back, baby. The mullets are back. Look at all the linemen like playing for the Huskers and stuff now. They, right, they right, all right. got the big hair, See, too. My son and uh, Dylan, so Brendan and Dylan, were born the same year. Yes, indeed. And uh, both are playing football. Uh, I said to Brendan, I said to Brendan the second week, I said, how'd it go, uh, Brendan? He goes, Dad, I get water, okay? Can you not bring it up anymore? I was like, oh, okay, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. We won't, we won't bring it up on but live TV Dawson is no, out there just mowing it. people over. Well, he's, he's trying, man. What's he's his uh, big brother think of that? Well, for the most part, I think his big brother really enjoys it, just as long as he doesn't let another lineman in to tackle him. So <laughs> that's it's pretty, it's pretty, that's a big job. You got a freshman kid blocking for your senior quarterback brother. You don't want to screw that up, right? Because you got to live with that at home, right? Right, so right, it's right. Crazy, right. but well, good times. It's got to be fun seeing all those kids playing. Battle it Creek's is. having a good year this year. Here to the end of the season. Battle almost, Creek beat you know? Pierce. Yeah, yeah, they did. So it in a Battle Creek's way, like so. the. The one city in Nebraska that likes to, the most heartache at the end of the season. You get so oh. far down the road. We, we've had a lot of heartaches the last several years. So we're hoping just every week we get one more week as we get into playoffs, and that would be a lot of fun. So traveling to Shadron this week will be very interesting. No doubt about Shadron, it. Shadron, Nebraska. All right. We won't yeah. talk too much more. We've got another hour with Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. is loud and proud on the corner of uh, 4th and Brosh Avenue in downtown Norfolk. The VFW is open, and Mark is uh, hes at the bar taking care of customers, and we welcome you here tonight. We've got a live studio audience, and I should say this, Dave, we actually have uh, your mom and Tom. They're oh, here. Oh, yeah. They're here taking it in uh, from, Indiana. from Indiana. Seeing, seeing the live production. Hey, hey, that's hey, right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You know, it's uh, it's been great having them out here, and um, I said, hey, we're we're playing on TV tonight. Of course, they they watched on Facebook last year. That's right. So now they're seeing it live and in person. The behind the scenes look with all the camera folks and the whole crew here and the sound crew putting everything together. So always fun and interesting. We got three great cam ops here, and uh, you know we get a lot of really good camera operators from Northeast Community College. Absolutely, Brian they Masters here. out there doing a great job. Oh yeah, their instructor was a longtime colleague of Dave and I's. Yep. At US 92, and uh, we could tell you some stories about your your teacher that <laughs> we won't do that tonight on television. But uh, hey, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, right here on News Channel Nebraska. Oh, we're gonna have Chris sing us some Tom Petty. I love it.
take me through the night. i 
Jeff Healy Band. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do now, today. Corey? Well, thank you, Corey. That's one of my all-time favorite songs. I'm singing that one for my wife. How about that? That is. That Since is you sang song. one for your wife. That's right. Chris, you want to sing one for your wife? Oh, man. Bo- <laughs> sure. We stumped him. We sure. stumped him. We stumped him. We stumped but him. I don't want to do another slow song. Let's do something fast. Yeah. yeah. One. Hey, hey, uh, you want to? I got one for you. Okay. What do you got? Oh. This is a fun one. Yeah. Okay. This is. Yeah. Are you going to tell me what it is? Oh. Okay. Oh, when the sun beats down and melts the car up on the roof. And the streets get so hot, you wish your tired feet were fireproof. Yeah, 
that's for Carrie. There you go. Uh, 27 yeah. years we were married. Uh, you were married and you are married. Yeah, well, she yeah. may kick me out after that. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's home taking care of my boys and my dogs. So That's, that's right. right. Oh, you know what we're going to do right now? No, I sure don't, Corey. That, me neither. But right now we're going to do this one instead, okay? Okay, it's perfect. <laughs> it's about as usual. <laughs> here's, a, here's a little Almond Brothers for you. Oh, okay, I like that. Two, three, four. <laughs> with you oh yeah <laughs> we finally caught up with you it's oh, all good, good i love it i love it oh let's see if we can sneak another one in before mike has to take a break that sounds good what do you want to do we're doing 80s or uh, oh, sure we haven't done much 80s tonight well yeah let's do another 80s what the heck <laughs> Talk to you. Walking around and having trouble. 
Is that, is that the outfield that did that? That's the outfield, yes. They had like two hits, I think. Yeah, that one was the that one. one and, and, and then there's and another an obscure one that nobody, nobody knows. knows. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we sang the one, which is just fine. Uh, All right. Let's see. What should we do now? I got one. Chris, you should do. What's that? Oh. that. Everybody from Fall City to Eustace should know this one. You got it. Thank you. 
that railroad train is mine. I bet I'd move it on a little farther down the line. Far before some prison, that's where I want to stay. And I hear a lonesome whistle roll my blues away. Gentlemen, quarantine tonight Drunk. on a Monday night. I guarantee there's nothing like this on your television. <laughs> David, what do you think of all this? I think this is a good time. We're having fun tonight. We are. You are doing we a great really job are. tonight. And uh, the level of uh, uh, talent we have on tonight is I thought great. going to say how good we look. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> I really want to We're made focus. for radio, Mike. We're I know. We are radio. Radio. We really for, are. Yeah. Not for TV. We've been on a lot of hours of radio together, haven't we? <laughs> we looked a lot better on radio. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Good time. So when I first met this guy, Corey, he was a serious news reporter for an NBC affiliate in South Bend, Indiana. I used a half a can of Aquanet on this hair. He used a lot of Aquanet. I was ready for a hurricane just in case. And I was a morning stuntman on a radio station in uh, northern Indiana, southwestern lower Michigan. And uh, he wanted my job, and I wanted his. Oh, yeah, was He was in a helicopter. He was in a news van. He was going to murders. He was going to all sorts of stuff. And Mike all, thought that was exciting, and I says, it's not. He didn't want any piece of it. <laughs> no, we were, we were in the wrong jobs. We ended up being roommates there. And Believe uh, it or not, we go back a he few used, years. He used a lot of Aquanet in his I hair. I did. I did. He had makeup and all sorts of things. But he does have nice hair. He does well, have nice hair, know, yeah. I got, envy. I envy the you hair. Got, Corey <laughs> is, uh, well, okay. Yeah, you uh, got a nice beard. Dave Corey. Amick, New Center 16. I remember the whole oh, thing, yes. just like it was yesterday. Yeah, in fact, our you remember our buddy Norb from the post office? Yeah. He was in the bar earlier here at the VFW. Yeah, Norb I was Wilhelm. talking to him yeah. a little while, and he says, you remember the first day you and Mike walked into the post office over here? Yes, I do. When we got, we, we got a post office we box. We went and got a post office box. That's right. Started a radio station, yeah, L, right. uh, P.O. Box 747. That's right, box 747. Yeah, loved it. I was trying to get 927, but we didn't have that many he post office boxes many. back then. That's right. <laughs> That would have matched our frequency. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's good to have him here. It's good to have all you guys here. And I'll tell you what, we've got just about a half hour left. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. You're watching News Channel Nebraska, Quarantine Tonight. Quarantine Tonight on your television and, uh, of course, uh, we appreciate it so much. There are so many people watching this program that uh, obviously don't get to say this, but they, uh, if they could, would say thank you to the three of you for sharing your talents on television. Uh, this is a way for people who uh, don't get the chance to go out to watch something that they like, that doesn't offend them, that doesn't get them mad, doesn't get them upset. Well, we're not done yet. Well, that's true. That's true. But <laughs> they appreciate it. They want so, They want music like this. They want things that lift them up, and it's nice to have fellow Nebraskans do it. We got a, I'm going to call you a Norfolk Columbus guy. How about that? that and a works. Columbus guy and a Battle Creek guy, originally from the great state of Indiana. Uh, oh, had, yeah. has, he's got some parents here that uh, are putting their hands together for you. Now, what what did, what town does your uh, your mom live in now? Well, uh, Marion. You know, they're one of the they're one of the fun couples that uh, they have a co-location because oh. Franklin, Indiana, and Greensburg, Indiana. So. Still the family farm there down in Greensburg, but yet they got their, their place there in Franklin where they were living when they retired. So so kind of kind of a dual residency right now for them. Interesting. And we try to get them to come out here and stay with us as much as possible. Interesting too. story about Dave. He likes to fly. His grandpa got him into that from North Carolina. Oh, yeah. He likes anything with farm machinery. Yes. Who got you into that? Uh, just a little bit of the farming background from both of my grandfathers and my uncles. So he likes uh, anything music. Anything with wheels and a motor, we're on it. Wheels and a motor. You got it. And then music. And then, and then sports, football. Love it all. Played, yeah. yeah. You know, we've got people watching out in California. I just got a message out there. Uh, one of our good friends, uh, one of our fellow uh, financial advisors that works with us, Gustavo, out there. We got Jeff watching, old Ryan Mead, old Mito there. Uh, we got uh, Randy Ortwick watching, our, our good friend Denny's watching. We got them all over the place right They're now. They're ready. They're enjoying this. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, right here, it's Whiskey Tango Foxtrot on News Channel Nebraska. Yes. 
lost in your sight And I'm waiting for you Stay the hand and twist the fate On a bed of nails she makes me wait And I'm waiting Jeez, Corey. Oh, man, that's high. That's getting up there, bud. That is. My goodness. Thank you. 
separate ways Sometimes you tell the day By the bottle that you drink In times when you're alone All you do is think I'm a cowboy On a steel horse I ride I'm on it I'm on it Dead or Jovi. Oh. I need oh, to wet yeah. my whistle. That's a little higher than I should probably try to sing. Oh, no. Did a great job there, bud. Oh, my goodness. All right. Surprise us, Corey. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Oh, I think that is what I want to do is I want to do an old song. Okay. Perfect. And, uh, and uh, actually, uh, this is a song uh, that Vinny did back in the 90s. It is Oh, Vince song. Gill. Vince yeah, Vinny, Gill. Vinny, okay. yes. This one goes out to my grandma. I hope she's watching at home. Well, you are going way back now. Then 
Was my uh, grandpa and grandma's I remember playing favorite for them song. Yes, ten indeed. years ago. We played that song, and they were still out dancing together. They sure were. Yep. Your grandma still likes to cut a rug when she gets a chance, she though. She does. How old is she now? Uh, she is. Let's see here. She just turned, I think, ninety. Oh wow. Yep, yeah. I think she just. She was 90. out this summer with us, having a good time she and uh, dancing a few. So, she is a peach. We love her. Hope she's watching tonight. All right. Two, three, four. <laughs> That is an 80s fun. That is an yeah, 80s fun it. song. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Dave, you can pick one, bud. Well, you know, um, 
we, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think back to some of the old street dances that, um, that we have enjoyed over the years. You know, old Mike loves to tell stories, of course, from back in the good old days, right? Oh, yeah. And um, so there's not a street dance in the state of Nebraska that you would go to that would not have this song played. Or basically, you got run off the stage if you were a band and you didn't play it. So maybe we should play some David Allen Coe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It was all I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. You don't have to call me darling, darling. You never need to call. Recitation there, but uh, I see you we're about done. You guys did a great job, by the way. I love that. All right. uh, <laughs> it, uh, it just amazes me. The best show in uh, Norfolk, Nebraska, right here at the VFW, is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights. And uh, if you knew what was in for in store for you, you'd be here. By the way, because it's a great show. You guys did a great job tonight. Is it over already? Well, yeah, we're almost at oh, geez. 10 o'clock. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're used to playing four hours straight. That's why we sit down. We're not lazy. It's just that we play so long that we have to sit down. Well, you do a great job. Tomorrow <laughs> so, night we've got uh, Frank Sinatra, a.k.a. Bobby. He's coming from Omaha. And then uh, Wednesday Bobby. night, a band from Ainsworth. And they've already had to, they've had to run their song selection by us, and we've already censored at least one song. Perfect. So. Sounds they great. are going to be putting on a show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot, it's 10 o'clock. Good night.